took nearly a year, but now the former DeWitt doctor, convicted twice of murdering his wife, is asking for this last verdict to be thrown out. As expected, Robert Newlander's legal team appealed a jury's verdict last month, last March rather, calling the trial unfair and accusing District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick of theatrical prosecutorial misconduct. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan takes us through the arguments filed in court. Now 71 years old, former Dr. Robert Newlander could spend the rest of his life in state prison, convicted of beating his wife to death. He's always maintained she slipped and fell in the shower, but the jury didn't believe it. Nearly a year later, a 63-page appeal argues why Newlander was deprived of a fair trial, citing insufficient evidence, an unduly severe sentence, and wrongdoing by both County Court Judge Thomas Miller and District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick. One key argument is the judge allowing the jury to consider that Jenna Newlander didn't testify. Newlander's defense attorneys write, it allowed the jury to, quote, infer that the defendant's own daughter, who was in the house on the morning in question, would have offered testimony that would have incriminated him. It is hard to imagine a more damning instruction. A second key argument, what the legal team calls, quote, unscrupulous, premeditated, and bad faith attacks against Dr. Jonathan Arden, when D.A. Fitzpatrick called him guilty of sexual harassment in a previous job. Quote, this was a baseless and inflammatory character assassination of the defense's self-proclaimed most important witness. The DA's misconduct poisoned the trial, the defense argues. This is only half of what the appellate division out of Rochester will consider. The district attorney gets to file his own brief in the next month. In it, he will disagree with a lot of this, specifically the idea that there wasn't enough evidence. He told me today that two juries over two trials have found the evidence sufficient. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew, thank you. The State Appellate Division will preside over this appeal. That's the same court that overturned Newlander's first conviction on juror misconduct.